Hello fellow Sudokans, welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Tuesday the 23rd of January 2024. It's evening time already here in Bangkok. I uh, have had a hard day's work and um, I still have some voice left, so enough left for me to uh, play the game of Sudoku, I guess. Although, just looking at this game, I see a lot of digits given to us. I never bothered to count how many digits they have given. But uh, it felt like a lot, putting in the transferring the digits from the website into the sudokuexchange.com that I always use to play these games. Uh, felt like I had to do a lot of um, looking and, and button pressing to get the digits in. Uh, it seems like a lot. Now that immediately makes me suspicious. I think it's going to be a tough game because they've given us a lot of starting digits. That means there's probably going to be some difficult logic involved. That's what I guess could be totally wrong but it seems like a likely proposition to me <coughs> excuse me my voice is going a bit um well i can actually see a couple of things already so that's a good a good sign um what's going on well this is the la times not far away from la well well quite a distance i guess actually i take, I take that back but at least in california i meant san diego is having uh flooding problems of flooding and Flash floods uh, have uh, overturned cars and inundated housing. So if you're in San, San Diego area, please take care and uh, look after yourself and your property as best you can. OK, let's get on with the game because otherwise my voice won't last any longer. Uh, let's start with ones blocking up here like this, putting one here. This is the uh, LA Times expert level puzzle. If I forgot to mention it, I'm mentioning it now. And what was the other thing I saw? Seven blocking up here and up here and across there for a seven. And I spotted one more thing. What was it now? What was it? What did I see? I know I saw something else. Um, or maybe my eyes were deceiving me. I saw something else. I taught I taught a putty tet. Uh what's missing from here? Two four six two and four there. Damn, I know there's something else. Alright, never mind, let's go through the digits one by one, see if I can find it. That's what I saw, the nines. I knew there was something. Okay, nine in there. That was the other thing I saw whilst chatting to you. We finally got there. It took a long time, though. Mm, I found a pair. No, I didn't. 
Hammer. Um, but I have discovered that. No, no, no. No, I haven't discovered anything. I take it all back. Fortunately, I did stop speaking before I made a faux pas. Uh, let's see. Oh, man. I like the twos in these squares here, but that doesn't do enough, does it? Threes are over here. Oh. Fives are there and somewhere up there. We also got eights in these squares. Not not there, but five and eight. So two and four, not sure. Six. Um, I haven't got the foggiest clue with this game. Like I, I was right. I said they're giving us a lot of digits. It means it's going to be tough. I think it is. Uh, can't see where to begin. This block here, I know I have threes in these squares and I'll have sevens there. Three, seven, two, four, and six. Nope. Two, four, six. No, I'm going to have to put in at least some pencil marks to get me started here because I've got no idea where to begin. Let's hope I can spot something uh, with a few pencil marks. And when I say a few, it's probably going to be a few hundred, <laughs> I suspect. Two, three. Oh, hang on. Two... Two, three, six across here. So two, three, six in those squares, right? Okay, so this 
is not two, three, or six. It has to be four and seven. Okay, right, that might mean something. Does it mean anything? Does it mean anything for the fours? Uh, yes, it means four is not in this square and four blocks here. So that is going to be a four. And then we'll be left with two six in those squares there. Now, anything else on the four? Yes, it means fours are somewhere up there. I'm going to put that in like that. <coughs> uh, let's do this uh, seven and four, putting the pencil marks. We're going to put sevens up there. We might be going somewhere. You never know. Fours are here. Oh, of course, look, four across here, so four in one of those two squares. So this can't be four, can it? This has to be a four. two across here two down there we'll get a two in that square there and that's going to be a two and this won't be a two we will have a pair of twos up here now and of course this oops sorry that's going to be twos now of course two goes here and six is in that square and that's going to give me a pair of sixes down there and this has to be three and six so now we can see that the sixes are somewhere up there uh, we've got a pair of ones in these squares now And with the eight blocking across here, we're going to get a pair of eights like that. Actually, eight blocking across here, so eight is in one of these squares here. So this can't be eight, it must be four, and this must be one, and this must be eight. And that will give me a pair of eights up here. And I can get rid of that candidate one that we no longer need and put ones in those squares and then ones over here like that now if we've got three and six here we can work out what goes over here which is two and something so two blocking up here there's the two and the something must be a four and that's going to give me a pair of fours up there right six seven the other missing digit across here is eight so the eights are going to go here so this must be a six and we'll get rid of the sixes there but we will replace it with an eight and the missing digits here are one and five okay two blocking up here and up here will give us two in that square two across here and across there means we're going to have twos in those squares there uh, three blocking up here and across there will give us a pair of threes there and that's going to put a pair of threes down here and mean that this must be a three because three is now blocked from these squares okay so that must be a three which means you're an eight and that will give me a pair of eights across here the missing number here is a five, so five blocking down here. Here's our five. Here's our one. This would be a one, and this cannot be one. Okay. The other number that we need for this row is five. Put that in now. And what else do we know?
We have nine blocking across here and down here, so we have a pair of nines in those squares there. Actually, we can place a nine up here. Nine's blocking up and across. That means this is a nine here, and that gives... Oh, sorry, wrong mode. That's a nine there, and that means these will be nine here. One more number to get here, which is five. Let's put it in. And I just realized this is the only five allowed in this column, isn't it? So five there, one there, so one here, and three there. And this cannot be a one. Have a pair of threes up here like this. pair of fives up there. Six blocking up here, so here's the six. Oops, wrong thing. This is the only space for a six uh, down here. And the last number to finish over here is a seven, I think, which gives a seven there four in that square a pair of fours there so this is the only four allowed in the top row and we'll get rid of the fours there and this has to be an eight and the missing number here must be a three which puts a three here and we can remove that three right almost done so with a few candidates it turned out to be really simple and i guess I already knew that the twos were somewhere in this these two rows here. I could have done it without pencil marks, probably, if I'd got the energy and the will and the desire to do it. But I don't, I didn't have that, and don't have that right now. So eight's blocking across here. This is going to be an eight, and the last digit over here is a five. Five eight eight seven. Seven down there, seven, nine, nine, four, six. We are almost there. Let's see, four blocking up here and across there. So this is a four. Here's our two, excuse me, two. So, two. oh, for God's sakes. Two there, three there, three there, six there six in that square five finishes the game so actually uh just as soon as i started putting in the pencil marks it became very clear uh that's it for me um that's it for my voice uh, hopefully i'll see you again tomorrow for at least one game bye bye